Hey guys and gals, Malkuth, 1974, back at you, another episode of Distant Worlds Universe. What is this, episode 4? Yeah, we're kind of moving along, we're kind of jumping ahead, and well, what do we got here? We got some research on advanced nuclear fission, and of course I am still working for colonization, and I'm still a little bit worried about the pirates, obviously this is a pre-warp pre -warp game, and uh pirates are a nuisance in these types of games. They're more powerful than they would be in, say, a classic game of Distant World. So they're more of, more like a like an empire, you know? You got tiny little empires that all have better vessels than you and you're constantly upgrading your vessels like I am right now to just basically, basically survive. And the pirates are hitting me here and there and now what I'm worried about is when I finally do get colonization is how hard is it going to be to set up these colonies? And I got a feeling it's going to be pretty difficult because it seems that once you get anything set up, things go bad. So we're going to do a cut right now and we'll be right back. All right, it's 2105 and we are still moving ahead. We don't have colonization yet, but we are trying to figure out the tax rates and I'm um I'm, I'm kind of messing around with again you know you saw me do this earlier in the game where I was lowering the tax rate to get my population stuff back up and we can see up here that I got a pirate now coming in to attack my little mining station that are in these asteroids and it's kind of cool because my home planet is actually getting very close to this asteroid we're kind of in its orbit now and so they've come in to actually start beating on the help with the destruction of this pirate vessel. And they are having a little bit of an issue. We still, you know, don't have the greatest weapons. And <laughs> my little escort there hasn't caught up yet. But, hey, whatever. He seemed, to, he seemed to zoom off there so we don't have any real issues going over here. I do actually have another defense station being built over here. And you can tell that all my civilian vessels are starting to get built up and get going. And my fleet is actually adding up a little bit. We call it the first fleet. We got nine ships in there. And I have them all going to retrofit to the newest versions. I got a couple that were damaged there in the battle. And we got two destroyers in, the, in my fleet now. So I have kind of upgraded to get some better vessels going. Just a, a little bit more firepower for... We don't have too much going. And I got some escorts taking off to go do some exploration. You know, in the Star Trek style. They're pretty fast. I don't think even uh, pirates can catch them. I got them pretty buffed up with speed. And you can tell my money just dropped down to, like, crazy low money. So now i got to raise it back up. You know, there, is a, there is a downfall to doing this that you could, uh... Your, your economy just basically does a dive when you're doing zero. Uh, zero percent taxes so it's something you gotta you know keep in keep in mind and for god's sake those ships are so slow right now they can hardly even i mean they're taking forever to get from point a to point b i so need to get some engine upgrades but my ships are getting fixed they're getting refueled they're getting uh re-retrofitted and things seem to be going pretty well considering the situation where the pirates are just constantly harassing my shipping lanes and my outer mining vessels. Look, another pirate network. <laughs> yeah, they're popping out of nowhere. So as my scouts are spreading out around the galaxy, things tend to not go so well. And there we go. My pirate station is under attack. And my fleet is responding since we now we do have warp bubble as we found out a few episodes ago. We got warp bubble quite quick because we only had uh, two ruins over here, and oh, wow, they kind of warped over there, and now he's over here. That's interesting. Get my guys over here. Energy, energy collection. Oh, energy collection. I did start researching that. And he jumped out. What a coward. If you notice fighters on the way, I did turn a destroyer or a destroyer type hull or a big hull type vessel like that into a mini 
aircraft carrier or mini fighter carrier or carrier whatever you want to call it. he's this little guy up here he looks kind of different than all the other vessels oh that's what happened he actually captured my uh, my mining station there oh that sucks so I had to destroy my own mining station man that's a real bummer yeah so the constant harassment and just basic kicking of my butt when it comes I mean this is normal it's gonna happen to you guys when you start playing if you if you're if you're watching this just to play it's 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 a struggle it's a struggle to get your stuff and there's my uh, my second defense network there to help defend so with a medium tower medium uh, spaceport and two defense stations uh, my home planet is very well protected so I'm not really worried about sending my fleet off to help get other get pirate raids in this in my own system of course I only have warp bubble so it's a little bit difficult for these guys to actually warp anywhere and actually have any any kind of speed. It looks like they're actually about to jump again. Usually that's... Yeah, there they go. Boom, boom, boom. Everybody's jumping. Boom. Let's go find out what's going on over here. Not sure where he went. Oh, he jumped into my home system. Wow. Oh, there's the fighters going after him. Oh, he's getting a whole... F a full-fledged uh, onslaught of fighters this time because it's uh, the defense stations both have fighter fighters and uh, the spaceport is actually getting upgraded with a small complement of fighters too. So it's you know one of those things. It's 2106 now. We're six years into the game. There's a lot of people out there that can actually beat this game in like 14 years. It's not going to really happen <laughs> on my side. So. Yeah, especially being my first full-fledged game. I've done a few test games of this and just to see what's changed. And it's definitely changed enough where, you know, old strategies don't seem to work as well. Other than, you know, that, that whole, you know, when you can, you know, you have an end game situation. Wow, my guys aren't even hurting this guy. And he, they're hitting him with torpedoes and, yeah, he's going to completely destroy that place if he, uh, doesn't. Oh, now he's getting hurt. But he's hurting my uh, my station too. So, oh my poor little my poor little escort up there, the leader of the pack is uh he's getting a little damage there. Oh, and he jumps out. Whatever, whatever's. I'm gonna take these pirates out. We're gonna get our revenge one day. Trust me, we will get our revenge once we get a fleet that can actually go toe to toe with them. They're gonna start regretting. They're going to start costing them some money to take me on. Instead of costing me all my money. Oh, my money situation isn't that good either. Minus 1,013. We need to remedy that. Well, I, well, now we're plus. Okay, that was a quick jump. That was a quick jump. Let's take a look here. Colonization. We're still way off. We're still way, way off. Oh boy, I'm probably gonna jump ahead here until I get colonization because this is gonna basically be the same thing: constant harassment from the AI pirates. Not much I can do about it. Just keep, you know, just keep chugging along, and you know, I can literally probably make six videos just out of the the time in between you get colonization and between when you don't have colonization, and where it's just this. It's just me constantly holding off a pirate attack you know when you play your own games you have to come up with your own little your own little secret to taking these guys on but it's it's just you know this is this this is the fun part of distant worlds universe playing a what do they want see the problem is do I want to pay them money for they can just buy more ships to blow up my ships but it would be nice to know some of these new these empires so the Akuta Council would be nice to actually start start getting some relations with, maybe start training some research with them and uh, getting trade packs with them. And if we could see the, the whole map, we could tell that I'm just barely getting my, my exploration vessels out there right now. 
So we still haven't really left our home system. That's pretty much why I never zoom out because there's really no point until my uh, my exploration vessels start getting going. Speaking of an exploration vessel, why is this guy not doing anything? Uh, there you go. Get out of here. Get out of here. You bother me. Go on. Move away. Move away. All my fighters are kind of swarming around, doing their thing. Did you guys know that when you build an actual... See, I didn't know at the time, but when you're building a carrier, if you build an actual carrier class and not do what I did with, you know, just making a destroyer or carrier, you get a bonus to the size that you can build. And I think it's... Uh, you can have 40% extra room on a carrier as long as the the extra room is a uh, fighter or a fighter bay is what they're called. So you could have a 300... A 300 size uh, vessel that has all the all the stuff in it, weapons, uh, shields, all that stuff, and you can add another 40 percent of just fighters, and you can go over that 300. So if your build is only 300 size, you can you know get whatever 300. And f what the hell is 40 percent of 300? I don't know. I, maybe it's not based off that. It's it'll tell you anyway when you're building what. Uh, what you can can do so it's it's all pretty intuitive when you're building vessels and all that stuff what what is allowed if you go over the limit it'll tell you you're over the limit you can't build this right now young skywalker you cannot build this and yeah wow okay oh look there's my construction vessel he's coming in he's probably coming in to get supplies to steal all my supplies from my home planet before I get shortages and all that wonderful stuff. Ooh. All right. Assault tactics. Well, actually, you know what? I'm just going to see if we can fast forward to when I get colonization. So we'll be back. Alrighty. Are we actually back? I think we're back. Yes, we're back. We're back. Because we have some surprises coming up. We have a lot of surprises coming up. We do a lot of cutting and 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 stuff like that. You see that nice blue pan planet up here? I'm gonna colonize that baby. I will colonize it. I think. Yes. And here goes my fleet again, yet again, coming in to take on a pirate. Oh, that's an exploration vessel. You can see my my guy launching his uh, fighters right there. My new upgraded one. Man, these pesky pirates, I tell ya. They just hit me everywhere. I mean, what are you supposed to do about this? You got these little crappy fleets that, you know, you can't really do anything with. So I had the bright idea of making a, a carrier. Because the carrier, you know, the, the fighters seem to have a pretty easy time of, you know, taking on these damn pirates. These, these damn pirates. You know, Charleston Heston and his damn apes. Damn apes. But instead, it's the damn pirates. I don't know, there could be apes behind him. Wait. Technically, we're apes. We're all apes. Oh my gosh. That's just so weird. In distant worlds, are we apes? Or are we descendants of some other thing? I'm not sure. But I'm going to keep canceling these damn smuggling missions because I just don't want them. We're going to do a cut and we'll be back after these words from our sponsor. Who's our sponsor? I don't know. Coming from Pirates Anonymous. Are you a pirate? Well, become a non-pirate and join the Empire. And become a free thinking man that doesn't kill innocent people and stuff. Thank you for this word from our sponsor. Or, wait, I'm the sponsor. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Yeah, so at this point, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're not going to do much. I'm trying to make peace with this guy. I'm trying to not make peace. We're not at war. But I'm trying to get him to like me because I'm trying to get my uh, my monies up. I need some more monies. I need more monies. Just because. So I'm gonna eventually just send him some gifts just to get him his, uh, 
to get him a little bit more happy with me. I mean, I got 16,000 credit, so if we can get him up there. And now we also met the Slucas Collective. Again, I bought that, so it's 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 not a, a big, huge deal. Uh, just waiting on uh, to build the colonizer. I already know where it's going to go. And I've been starting to research a lot of the armored stuff and the and the ground combat stuff because I also know that I want to take a planet, but we'll get into that later. So far, we'll be back. Alrighty, twenty one twelve, and things are good. If you look at the little map down there, things have started to grow a little bit. The fleet has started to grow. My cash flow is gone. So hopefully I'll get that cash flow back going again. It's just there's a lot of stuff going on. Lots of maintenance costs and all that stuff. And, you know, all that great stuff. But these guys is one hell of a fleet. These, I don't even know where these guys came from. They're just, they're just there. They're just there. And I think this is where things turn bad. Oh, yes, there. You can see my little... You can see him down there, that poor little, my poor little fleet leader. And he's about to go boom, boom. He's dead in the water already. So he's already dead. It's not as, it doesn't even matter if I even win this. Looks like I'm going to take this guy out. And unfortunately, he is in an unrepairable situation. He can't even fly back. So we're just going to have to retire him, scrap him immediately. And we'll have to build some more ships to replace them. So the pirates, you know, they're still going after us. They're still pounding on me. Uh, it's it's a struggle. I'm telling you right now, it's a it's a struggle. So you can tell, oh also look at my ship port. It's now a large ship port. So lots and lots of fire. See, and there's more pirates. Pirates, 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 pirates. They're always coming after me. My fleet's getting the hell beat out of it because it's trying to take these guys on. And holy come, holy crap. What the flying biscuit is going on over here? This is like a full scale invasion. Alright, do I even want to bring the fleet over here? Is, or is this just com a complete lost cause right now? I mean, I'm outnumbered, number one. Oh, they're trying to take him over. They just launched some uh, things at him. Yeah, they just raided my gas mining station. You bastards. You dirty, stinking bastards. I'm going to get you. You little ship, too. Oh, wow. They're completely raping that thing. Oh, and they took it over. Oh, and this brave, brave, brave soul just decided to jump in. And I decide to, uh, well, oh, oh, hey, take that. How do you like that? One on one. Oh, he's got like tractor beams or something. He's pulling me in. Oh, that poor guy, that poor soul. Let's jump in the rest of the guys. Hey, yeah, one on one, huh? Oh, and he jumped out. What a coward. We'll have to go take that that mining station out. God, this has got to be playing havoc on the civilized, civil, uh, civilian. Oh, man, they are absolutely everywhere. They are just wreaking havoc everywhere and everything. Was a poor fledging empire to do. I don't know. I don't know. But we're gonna find out. Uh, they always want me to attack, like, pay other pirates to attack other pirates. Why does that always sound like a bad idea? To me, it does. You know, I need to make more some more ships. There are many here, and blah blah. No, we're not going to pay you. B beyond the point of paying you, 
butt reapers any kind of money. And then I got my new my new guy coming up. Well, I'm gonna do one more last cut for this video. And we'll be back. <sighs> I don't even know what time we're coming up here. Let's see. I'm at like 20 minutes already. So, this video is getting closer and closer and closer to being over. Doing some more upgrades on the bases. You know, this stuff is getting kind of boring. I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to do a lot of editing and a lot of, a lot of cutting and try to get the important parts in and not so much the bad parts. Yeah, we, we, we've concentrated on the last few episodes of dealing with pirates and all the mayhem that they can cause and all the, all the destruction and wrath they bring to everyone in the galaxy. But, the time of the empires is coming and we will break out and start defeating these fleets and hopefully start actually finding the layers layer and destroying them but until then this is Malkuth 1974 hit that subscribe button and comment and you know the like button really helps out the page, really helps out keep the channel going. I know Distant Worlds isn't a very popular game right now, but you know what? I don't do games based on popularity. I do them because I enjoy playing them. And hopefully you guys enjoy playing them too. And maybe, you know, give you some inspiration to play some Distant Worlds universe. Maybe go out there and get a copy for yourself, you know? It's a fun game. If you like, you know, space empire building and all that stuff. So, guys, Malkuth, out.